when you look at when you look at, at, in, in a mirror, do you realize that everything that you see is reversed? Yeah. 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 Not every sixth grader knows that, and to prove it, very simply, put a letter, draw a big R on a piece of paper and hold it up in front of the mirror, and the and the R is reversed. Okay. okay. A camera, no. A ca a camera takes a true image of what everything is. But it's but it's but it's like um say if like my head to the right over to the left. Oh, you're talking about a video camera that's aimed at you. you yeah, that's that. Be, yes, Mike. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. Anyway, when in relationship to the coordinate plane, a, co a, 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 a reflection is, and we're going to do that, a reflection is a mirror image of a point on a coordinate plane, but reversed or flipped. And you'll see what that is all about in the coming pages. We're going to skip a couple of these pages. I want you to go directly to this page six. This is kind of where we're going to start. I think the pages leading up to it is a little bit, uh, it's a little bit too much. It's not necessary. And I think we're past the point where I think you could start to do this. All right, so a reflection is a flip over a line. And it could be over the X or the Y. As you'll see, we're going to do both. So the first thing I want you guys to do is locate the point negative 7 and negative 5. And plot it and give it the letter A. Everybody do that now. Ne negative seven, left or right, up or down, to start. How many? That takes care of the x. Negative five, up, down, left or right. How many? One, two, three, four, five. Write the letter and the coordinates like that. Jack, yes, makes sense now. Okay, so we're going to do our, what's up, Ridge? What I would also do, get into the habit of doing, it's going to make things just easier for you. As soon as you get a coordinate plane, label your quadrants so you know where everything is. And they actually kind of give you a clue when they tell you that negative 7, negative 5 is in quadrant 3, so they kind of clue you. Okay, you're going to do your first reflection. Okay, it says reflect point A over an axis so that its image is in quadrant 2. Okay, so here's quadrant 2, and here's how you have to think of it. Here's your point right here, right? You're going to flip it like a mirror image into quadrant two. So it's got to still be the same distance away from the x-axis, but now it's up. Okay? It's being reflected up. So what would the coordinates be? Well, look, since I'm reflecting over the x, my x-coordinate does not change. I'm still at negative seven. So I'm going to go to negative 7, but now i got to go up how many? 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is why it's kind of a mirror image. This, if there's a mirror here, this is a mirror image of what the original point is. It's a reflection over, in this case, the x-axis. What are the coordinates of this? Max. Be careful, yes, negative 7. And then what was the second one? 5. Right. And we're going to call that B. Okay, now don't flip pages yet. I'm going to see if you guys, we can go from here. If you look at point A and B, who could tell me which coordinate did not change, the X or the Y? Charlie. 
Right, the x is still negative 7, that has not changed. What do you notice about the y coordinate? Alex. Right, if I would ask you to compare though, 5 and negative 5, what is 5 and negative 5? Think back to the warm up. They are, but they are opposites. Okay, so when you reflect over an axis, what will always happen is one coordinate will stay the same and one coordinate, x or y, will be the opposite of the original. Okay, now watch. What axis did we reflect over to create this image or this point in quadrant two? What axis did we reflect over? What did we leap over, in other words? And, right, this is a reflection over the x-axis. Now, if I would ask you to do this, and this is really the second page, but I want to stay on here because I'm going to give it to you verbally. I want you to reflect point B, so now its mirror image is in quadrant 1. You want to try it on your own without me? And then maybe I'll call you up. Okay, again, the directions. Here's my B. We're going to reflect this. So its mirror image is now in quadrant 1. All right, here comes Kelly. All right, why don't you list the coordinates first, and then we're going to give it the letter C, and then we'll talk about it. Not too big, hon, because it's a little big. But all right, go ahead. Okay. You're going to run out of room. <laughs> Quickly now, because we're rolling, we're rolling. All right, let's just see. Did you count right? We have seven, five. It looks good. Okay? So again, think of this now. You were here in quadrant two, and you flipped it into quadrant one. What axis did you reflect over? Antonio. Now you reflect it over the y-axis. Also, we call this the line of symmetry in between B and C. What you reflect over is also sometimes called your line of symmetry. So now let me ask you this. When you reflect over the y-axis, what coordinate flips and which coordinate stays the same? Uh, Jack, what stayed the same? Sure, look at negative oh, no, 7. Okay, is that the X or the Y? The, 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 the y. Right, okay, so when you reflect over the Y, the Y stays the same. Okay, the axis you reflect over stays the same. What flips to the opposite? Max. The X. All right, ready? Final reflection. Reflect C into the fourth quadrant. Did you do it already? Yeah. Some of you guys are getting the hang of it. You want to come up, Bri? Yeah. All right, do it. Many of you get it. You just have to be careful now that you count correctly because I've seen that happen a lot. You're off by one box, so you got to just be real careful. So far, so good. Nope, you got it. List the coordinates. Put parentheses around it, and you got it. There it is. No. No. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, good. All right, so final line of questioning. When you reflect over, well, first of all, what did you reflect over? Somebody I haven't heard from today. Tom, Tom, what did you reflect over to get into quadrant four? Yep, you're reflecting over the X. 
And when you reflect over the x, what stays the same? Z. Give me the give, give me the, the correct the letter. The the letter. <laughs> the x or the y stays the same. Listen to me again, right? When you reflect over the x, which coordinate by letter stays the same? You sure? Okay, good. Reflect over the x, the x stays the same, and then which coordinate are the opposites? Oh, the y. Okay. I'm going to modify your homework because we're a little bit behind. I want you, what, how much time we got? Yeah, we're out of time, right? Um, I want you guys uh, to do, go to your agenda because you got to you got to cross out what you have. Fraction families took a little bit of time. I want you guys to do pages 7 and 8. I'm going to tell you, though, 8 might be a little challenging for you because I wanted to do an example of that. I'll tell you what to do, but at least try it. And we'll pick up where we left off tomorrow. Okay? So change, what did I have, 13 and 14? Change it to 7 and 8.